Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video, and I'm going to do a series of these for the next couple of weeks, I believe. And what they are is, I guess, recognition of people that have passed away over the last 12 months that were musical icons, or just anybody in the music industry. And this one is going to be uh, regarding Cynthia Robinson. And for those who don't know who Cynthia Robinson was, Cynthia Robinson was the trumpet player and one of the co-founders of Sly and the Family Stone. She also had a cousin in the group at the time, the bass player, Larry Graham, which I didn't know until recently. And she also played with Grand Central Station. In her later years, she played with George Clinton. She did sessions with Prince. And what's so unique about Cynthia Robinson, who passed away November 23rd of last year at the age of 69. Some people say she was 70, but uh, the, the age thing, uh, no one can actually say which is which. And she passed away from cancer. And what to me was unique about Cynthia Robinson during that era, because I can recall as a kid watching these TV shows like uh, Bewitch, uh, the Dick Van Dyke Show. And what I noticed as I got older, how women were extremely subservient to the men and they were just basically housewives, you know, and they just kind of follow what the man told them to do, you know. And this is an era when Cynthia Robinson was doing her thing as a woman, strong woman, you know, and, and that's what's so unique about her to me that during that period, she was the person that she was, because if she was performing now in, in her 20s, you know, wouldn't too many people think twice about that. But again, 40 some years ago, a black woman, you know, doing her thing, being a leader, you know, being a, a leader and not a follower. You know, so that was a big accomplishment. And somebody mentioned in the article recently that uh, the Grammys that was on a couple of days ago, that there was no acknowledgement of her passing. And unfortunately, the media has not given these musical icons the notoriety and the uh, and and you know the what well, I guess better word notoriety as far as or acknowledgement of their passing because there was no news coverage on Lewis Johnson you know there was no news coverage to me on Cynthia Robinson because I don't remember seeing anything hearing anything but yet you know you got artists like Whitney Houston I mentioned this before it's like whenever I guess an artist die under tragic circumstances. It becomes a big media thing, you know, because uh, they spent the whole day telecasting the wedding or the funeral. And I'm saying to myself, and, I, and, and I'm seeing this. I've seen people on the Internet posting selfies with people in caskets. And I'm like, what is this about? You know, that should be a private affair and it should be exploited on, in the media. You know, but unfortunately, it, it's, it's, that's the thing now, you know. They don't acknowledge the people that died from, you know, kind of, you know, almost normal circumstances. But, you know, if you found dead in the tub with, with cocaine in your system, it, it becomes a two day media feast, you know. But these other people, you know, like Cynthia Robinson, no media, you know, no, no, no coverage at all. And uh, she was also inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1993 with Slam Family Stone. So I just want to pay my respects you know, and, and, and give an acknowledgement of this great musical uh, uh, individual that passed away recently. And, you know, we lost her. So uh, until next time, take care and rest in peace, Cynthia Robinson. We will be missed. Thank you.